Okay, so here in Illustrator, we're going to have a look at how we create this concentric style circle. And we're going to have a look at a couple of different methods in which you can do this, which will generate a different effect. And we'll also have a look at how we can combine this same technique with different shape tools. So we're going to have a look at how we use the pen tool and then use the Pathfinder tool to create some nice abstract shapes, um, such as we've done here with this path that then uses the width tool to create some interesting effects. So the first way is to grab the ellipse tool from the toolbar across here on the left hand side. Okay, and we're just going to draw out a very small circle. And basically with this circle now, we're going to enlarge it using the scale tool. And then we're going to duplicate that scale enlargement. So it's going to create several circles that we can then work with together. So we're going to jump across to the scale tool. And as we scale this, we're going to hold down two shortcut keys. The first is option. And you can see I get a double arrow there that's going to mean now that I duplicate that and then I'm going to hold down shift which is going to mean I keep that circle proportional so it's going to make a perfect circle okay once I've done that I can hold down command and D and it will recreate that duplication so it's going to make multiple circles so if we jump back to the selection tool okay here you can see that we have multiple circles um, all set up there okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add four squares to this setup okay so if we grab the rectangle tool Okay, we're gonna draw out a square, and really all that matters is that it intersects with the, the center of all those circles. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a selection tool once I've drawn out one of those squares, and just hold down the Alt key to drag that and move that. And I'm holding down Shift as well to stop it moving up and down. It'll only move in one direction if I hold down Shift at the same time. So I'm holding down Alt and Shift, and dragging that down until it snaps perfectly to the edge of that square. Okay, I don't want any distance between these, these different squares. Once we've got these snapped into position, okay, we can select all of our objects. You can see all the circles there and the squares. And now we're gonna use the Pathfinder tool. If you don't see this, just go to Window, show the Pathfinder and it will uh, pop up. Okay, and then we can now use this first option which is to divide. So basically it's going to take all those shapes and it's going to divide them into a set of different shapes. Okay, so I'm going to press divide. Okay, and now um, they're grouped together still, but if we go to object and ungroup, they'll become separate objects. So you can see now I can pull out these separate objects and delete the outsides of that shape. So now what I'm going to do is just change the color of some of these so that we can see the different concentric circles. Okay. Just move in and tweak some of these. Just making sure that no one shape next to another shape is the same color so that we can really see them all. We can change this later, but we just want to make it easy to see the different sections that we have here. And I'm not being too neat and tidy about the, the colors that I'm selecting just running through them nice and quickly. So once we've done this, we're going to offset some of these circles. So you can see now we've got a nice setup for these uh, circles laid out. Okay, and now what we can do is if we hold down shift as we select one set of these circles, we can then come to the edge there and rotate them and offset them. So we get this nice Kind of offset pattern okay so that's one method um, for creating set concentric circles and obviously because we're enlarging it by a certain percentage it's enlarging them slightly unevenly so the the size of those circles is increasingly getting larger as we get these different circles moving around the outside so let's zoom out we've got a nice uh, design there that we can work with we can add some other effects to that but let's have a look at a second method so if we grab the ellipse tool Okay, and we'll just draw out an ellipse here. Okay, and now we're going to add a stroke to that ellipse and we'll just add a five inch stroke. And now with the strokes, what we can do is we can add multiple strokes to one shape using this appearance feature here. So I'm gonna add a new stroke, it's gonna add it on top. I'm gonna make this next one 4.5 inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna change the color. Oops, 0 0.5, 4.5 is what I want. Okay, and then I'm gradually going to add new strokes at 4, 3.5 and so on there so I get this kind of nice even pattern.
And I started with the, the biggest stroke because in Illustrator, it always stacks the stroke on top when you create a new one, just like other layers. So by starting with the, the biggest one, we can set this up nice and quickly, okay? And we'll just go down to 1.5 inches, okay? And then we'll go ahead and set up the rest of this. So in order to now break this apart, we need to go to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke and then go to object, expand appearance, okay? So now we have a stroke for each of these, these sections, okay? So now we can come in here, grab the rectangle tool and move this square over the top of everything. So I'll just move this into position, okay? And we've got different colors there, but actually we're probably gonna have to remake those once we do this next step. So actually we should have aligned our strokes outside of our path to get a nice neat effect so basically with the stroke, when we added that, um, we should have outlined outside so that we get just the stroke um, as we break it apart and create the outlines. Um, but actually we've got now got some overlapping strokes, which is gonna create a different effect, but uh, it should still be pretty interesting. So we'll grab that, we'll use the divide option, okay? And then I'm gonna ungroup that. And now I have a number of evenly spaced concentric circles that are all black at the moment, but we can go in and tweak and adjust the color. Let's just make sure we're selecting the fill and adjust the color of each of those, okay, to get our design. Okay, so go ahead, um, create a stroke or concentric circles from just one circle, and then you'll be able to get this uh, very neat um, effect in Adobe Illustrator. And I just wanted to come back to one point about keeping the colors from the strokes that you've created here. So actually with a little further experimentation, I realized that you can actually, when you create your squares, we'll just take the stroke off this one. Okay, so we've got three green squares here, okay. Once we've created those squares, if before we go and do the intersect, in the Pathfinder, then actually, if we send these to the back, so I'll go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back, or the shortcut, Shift Command and the left square bracket, and then make those clear, those four squares, and we'll just break this apart. So we'll go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke, then Object, Expand Appearance to get those concentric circles. Now, if we select those, we have our squares behind there, and the, the circles in front. And now when we come here to the Pathfinder and click on the Intersect option, then basically we keep the colors um, of those circles while still breaking them apart. So I'll just jump to the Direct Selection tool here and I can delete the paths outside, okay? And we're able to come in here and select each of these individually. And that's a little bit of a quicker method than having to recolor everything once you've uh, broken this apart. So we can just work through and recolor some of the sections, but keeping the original color from the outlines. Now, before we completely finish up, I just wanted to share with you one other technique. So one of the tools I've been using a lot lately um, is the, the pen tool. And I've been using it in conjunction with the, the width tool that's available here. And basically what I like to do a lot of the time is create some simple lines, okay? And I'll just press escape here to come away from the, the pen tool. And I'm just gonna flip that to a stroke. Now, once I've got a stroke drawn on here with the width tool, if you've not used it before, then we can jump to that and we can change the width of a particular shape um, or line that we've created, okay? Now, as you're using the width tool, it basically works and creates a, a stroke that we can continually edit so we can go back in, change the color of that stroke. But if we wanna work with this as a shape, then we can, outline the stroke. So if we just go to, I'm just gonna tweak this line at the end here to get a slightly different uh, effect here. Okay, so we've got a stroke here. If we come to object, path, outline stroke, then we get this kind of cool uh, freeform shape and the, the width tool is certainly great for creating those things. But if we wanna add some other colors or shapes into there, then I found working with something like the ellipse tool and just moving over this shape with some circles. Okay, 
then jumping in, grabbing all those circles and using this intersect tool gives you some very cool uh, patterns that you can then work on and recolor. So if we just move through here, we'll eventually find our original stroke that we created. Okay. And all the circles are intersecting with one another. Just take a step back there. So you often get some of these smaller shapes where you need to kind of jump in and zoom in and delete stuff. But you can see we're getting the nice outline of that shape that we created, but then with these editable shapes within that. And I'm really liking this as a method for creating uh, shapes and patterns in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so you can see you can get some really quick, nice, complex patterns that you can then add to and edit the color of I mean, a very neat way. So it's very much like a kind of abstract painting style or a kind of quilting style where you're creating almost like a patchwork of different shapes in your, your Illustrator illustrations. You can see you end up with quite a nice complex shape or illustration from just combining and using those different tools. And a lot of the time I'll try and use a combination of different tools to make my shapes rather than trying to draw them freehand myself. It's just the way I like to work. And you can certainly end up with some nice abstract style patterns in this way. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I look forward to seeing some of the examples that you come up with and I'll see you on the next tutorial.